Kevin Walters has opened up about Selwyn Cobbo's now infamous comments on a podcast. In a Nine News exclusive, Brisbane's mentor reveals his conversation with the star winger and why he doesn't feel the need to justify his credentials as a coach. Like a school kid after a visit to the principal's office, Selwyn Cobbo gives the Nine News camera a sheepish glance as he returned for training for the first time since unflattering podcast comments about Kevin Walters came to light. He's a good person, like a good bloke, but I don't think he's a good coach. Did it hurt? Oh, certainly did. Yeah, it was disappointing from, from that regard. Emotion aside, the coach insists he's buried the hatchet with his winger. Spoke about it, had a good chat. Won't say father son, but along those lines. Knowing Selwyn as I do and as we do here at the club, I thought that probably a little bit out of line for, from Selwyn. It's not normally his character to be like that. Uh, but he rang me pretty early in the morning, uh, not long after it all surfaced, and was very apologetic. Despite Cobbo joining Tyson Gamble on the list of players who've appeared on a podcast questioning Walters' coaching, Kevy has full confidence in his ability. Even the great Wayne Bennett's got his critics, so um, I'm no different. I'm a big believer in what we're doing here and how we're going about it, and we'll stay in that path, and it's great that Selwyn will be on that path as well. Nine News understands the playing group has been informed future podcast requests need to be approved by club officials, and Walters believes this latest incident will prove to be a catalyst for growth. We've all learned from it, certainly myself and also uh, Selwyn, so we'll get on with things, as I say, and look forward to building a great future here with Selwyn and the Broncos. There's no disputing the coaches' credentials at the Dolphins, but question marks have been raised about their ageing forward pack. Criticism that's prompted Redcliffe's big men to draw inspiration from a champion AFL team, also accused of being over the hill. The Dolphins squad continues to grow. Their latest signing, former Bronco Tessie New, joining training alongside the first NRL player to sign with the club. Felice Cafusi's training kit even emblazoned with the number one to mark the honour. The boys are giving me a bit of stick about it. I was just told them it's number one signing, not number one marquee, so the price tag doesn't come with it. But um, for the number one to be in my bag, um, pretty awesome feeling and pretty special. The origin back row, part of a forward pack already ridiculed for being too old, draws inspiration from an AFL team also labelled over the hill. All I picture is the, uh, the Geelong team who, who won the flag last year. They come that mad Monday or, you know, in that bit of time. And these guys have seen it. it was bloody awesome. So, yeah, you can say all they want. I guess it just comes on to the weekend. And as long as I perform uh, to the standard that I know I can, I'll be right. The Titans' captain is noticing a lift in standards following Kieran Foran's arrival on the Gold Coast. Just his professionalism before training. You know, he's the first one in there and uh, he's getting all them things done, which is, um, you know, keeping me honest. You know, that's the reason why I want to get in early too, so I can... Uh, be there doing my little extras too, so um, you know, that's something that I've picked up. The Titans' first trial match is just a month away, taking on the Broncos on the Sunshine Coast on February 12. Adam Jackson, 9 News.